Hi everyone and welcome to Onik News. In today's topic we deal with you ah in being sentenced to one year in prison for drug charges. Short, informative and always up to date. We provide you with the newest K-pop and Korean related news every day, so make sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest infos and trends. This video is sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Grab their limited free shirts giveaway by simply following them on Instagram at DGOD Clothing and comment on the shirt you like. So let's get it started. On September 3rd, the Seoul Central District Court's Criminal Division 25, presided over by Chief Judge Ji Gui Yin, sentenced South Korean actor Yu Ah An to one year in prison and a fine of 2 million Korean won, approximately $1,500 USD, for violating the Narcotics Control Act, related to psychotropic drugs, and other charges. Yu Ah An was immediately taken into custody following the sentencing. Additionally, the court ordered him to complete an 80-hour drug rehabilitation program and imposed a forfeiture of approximately 1.5 million Korean won. Yu's accomplice, identified as Mr. Choi, was sentenced to eight months in prison, suspended for two years, along with an order to complete a 40-hour drug rehabilitation program. The court explained, given the duration, frequency, method, and quantity of the offenses, a severe punishment is unavoidable. The defendant exploited loopholes in the regulations governing medical narcotics, which makes the nature of the crime particularly egregious. Based on various circumstances in the records, it appears that the defendant has a serious dependency on psychotropic substances, which suggests a high risk of reoffending. The court further noted, in particular, despite being warned by medical professionals about the dangers of excessive use of propofol and other substances as early as 2021, Yu continued his criminal activities. His dependence on anesthetics and sleeping pills, combined with the use of marijuana, indicates a lack of awareness regarding the severity of drug-related issues. However, the court took into consideration Yu's candid admission of his drug dependency, his continued efforts to address the issue, the absence of similar previous offenses, and his lack of a prior criminal record. The court also justified Yu's immediate detention, stating, there is a concern that he may attempt to flee. Upon hearing the sentence, Yu, who had remained silent in response to questions from the media upon entering the courtroom, bowed his head and expressed remorse, saying there is a concern that he may attempt to flee. Yu Ah An was charged with administering medical propofol 181 times between September 2020 and March 2022, and illegally obtaining over 1,100 sleeping pills under another person's name 44 times between May 2021 and August 2022. He was also accused of smoking marijuana with his accomplice Mr. Choi and three other acquaintances, instructing others to smoke, and attempting to destroy evidence. During the final trial on July 24, the prosecution sought a four-year prison sentence, a fine of 2 million Korean won, and a forfeiture of 1.54 million Korean won for Yu. The prosecution argued, as a famous actor, Yu Ah An has not only been influential in the film industry but has also made impactful statements on social issues. He had a social responsibility but instead used his influence to cover up his crimes, which is a severe. Yu Ah An had admitted to the drug-related charges but strongly denied the allegations of encouraging others to smoke and attempting to destroy evidence. During the final trial, Yu's lawyer argued, the defendant acknowledges the drug-related charges. However, the types and amounts of anesthetics used during the procedures were determined by the doctors based on their independent and professional judgment, and the defendant had no involvement in that process. The lawyer also highlighted that Yu had long suffered from depression, anxiety disorders, and severe sleep disturbances due to his irregular lifestyle as an actor, adding that his psychiatrist had even recommended hospitalization. In his final statement, Yu Ah An expressed deep remorse, stating, I deeply regret and sincerely apologize for my actions. I want to apologize to my family, colleagues, and fans who have been hurt and affected by my wrongdoing. Reflecting on the impact of the case on his life, Yu said, This incident has given me the opportunity to reevaluate my entire life. 
Although this situation is unfortunate, I am determined to live as a more mature and responsible person. I am grateful to those who have guided me with tough love, and I once again apologize to everyone who has been disappointed, hurt, or affected by my actions. Regardless of the outcome, I promise to repay the trust of those who have supported me and to contribute positively to society in the future. In a related matter, Yu Ah In was also questioned by the police on August 28 for allegations of sexually assaulting a man, identified as Mr. A, while he was asleep at an office dell in Yangsan District, Seoul. Yu's lawyer denied the allegations, stating upon confirming with Yu, he stated that the claims are not true. What do you think about these news? Please let us know in the comments. This video was sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Don't forget to grab your limited free shirt by following them on Instagram at DGOD Clothing. Subscribe and turn on notifications for your daily doses of the latest K-pop and Korean related news. Thanks for watching and have a great day.